Hi guys, I'm Dimension Trumper. Welcome back to episode 17 of the Pokemon Y Let's Play. In the last episode, we managed to beat the gym leader of Lever City. Uh, we also managed to beat Team Flare at the Pokeball Factory and also collect the Master Ball. And now we'll be continuing on our journey. And also, I want to just sell the nugget um, that we got. Uh, so that is all 10,000 Pokey dollars. Yeah, so I suggest selling the. Uh, uh, stuff like the um, big nuggets, like uh, things that have like that are worth like a lot of uh, Poke dollars, because then you will be able to buy like stuff like uh, uh, Poke balls, uh, potions, and revives and stuff like that. So I don't think I just, I, I um, showed you the master ball last episode. So this is what it looks like. It's basically a a Poke ball that's basically purple with letter M on it and with two sort of pinky purple. Um, spots, circle things on the side. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's basically what the Poke Ball, of the Poke Ball, the Master Ball looks like. And now we'll be continuing on our journey, and hopefully, um, I can get Gumi to evolve this episode because we're like five episodes, no, five levels off from leveling up Gumi to, to, uh, to evolve Gumi into Sligu. Then we'll be ten episodes off, no ten um, uh, levels off to evolve Sligu into Gudra, but we do need to acquire a range. So yeah, uh, well, don't sneak up on me like that. So yeah, hopefully we can get Gumi to level up, uh, or not to level up, uh, evolve. Um, hopefully, I will. I would like that for Gumi to evolve, like either in this episode or potentially next episode. So yeah, um, okay. So Watchog. Um, you know, Gumi, I'm, you're leaving charge. Oh, Hyper Fang, ah. Oh, 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 ah, oh, oh, ah. Uh, okay. Uh, time to send out the big dogs. Let's go, Lucario. Uh, this, this has made an, this trainer made an enemy of me this day. Uh, this is, this is the trainer that has, has to see Mega with Lucario. This, this is the trainer. Mm. Uh, now time to it's time to activate my trap card, or is it trump card? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think it's either trap or trump. I, I, trump card. It's one of those ones. Anyway, um, okay, Watchog, yeah. Okay, that's Watchog. Yep. Uh, Sweet bat. Uh, okay, switching out to Raichu. Okay, I should probably revive. Uh, Gumi, just so uh, Gumi can get some XP, and hopefully, uh, okay, uh, revive and use it on a Gumi. There we go. Okay, that won't do anything. There we go. Uh, no, 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 not my items. I need a Thunderbolt. There we go. And yeah. Okay, so we're back down. There's one more Pokemon, I believe. Music yeah, like level 44. Uh, Seedra. Ooh, okay. Isn't it? Seedra's like the final. No, there's Kingdra. Kingdra is like the final evolutionary form of uh, Horsey. Yeah. I thought Cedra. I just I just thought that Cedra was Kingdra. Okay. Haha, I guess you were the one who surprised me here. Okay, um hold on, hold on, hold on. How how good is Gumi's like defense and stuff like that on the thing? Uh ew. <laughs> okay, that's going to be a lot of um, training uh, uh, from this episode until next week's episode because I might I might have to focus on Gumi's uh, stats mainly in defense and special defense during uh, for next week so that I can get so that Gumi won't uh, get well one-shotted uh, I should probably heal up Gumi as well yeah and that's another thing why I want to get Gumi leveled up and hopefully evolved into a Sligu by this week's episode or next week's ep episode just so 
Kumi can have a slightly bit more better defense. If it weren't for a certain a benefactor of mine, I wouldn't be a Pokemon Ranger by now. A Ranger today. Ah, as I said by now. But he is a Pokemon Ranger. Okay, Keith. Gapite. Ooh. Okay, that could pose a problem. Because. Oh, I've also got a Dragon type. Um. Oh no, Gapite's gonna, Gapite's gonna be faster. Um. Okay, I'm gonna send out Meowstic. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tell me out because I'm. I am not trusting of speed in this. Your know, dual chop, yeah, that would have taken out. That would have taken out Gumi. One shot. Okay, and. Safe shock. There we go. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Ah, okay, half health. Right, ooh. Uh, power punch. No wait, no. Oh no, I should, I should have, oh, I should have gone with Slyshock again. Oh no, ah, uh, I'm sorry, Miastic. I'm, so oh yep, sorry, Miastic. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. Ah, uh, okay, Greninja. Let's go. Let's go, Greninja. Okay, hopefully this will do a lot, some, some damage. Ooh, it, it does some, some, it's doing some damage. Yep, there we go. Yep. There we go. Ah, give me level 36. Nice. N no new moves? Okay. I'm thankful every single day for trainers like you and for my Pokemon. Okay, uh, now it's time to heal up a uh, Meowstic. Okay, uh, uh, don't need to use my Max Revive right now. There we go. And full store. Nope, there we go. Okay. Now that Meowstic's healed up. Uh, this way, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Battle time. And it's a Lipard. Okay. Uh, level 36. Okay, we're about the same, we're at the same level. Ah, uh, fake out. Okay. Ah. Uh, Come on, Gumi. Come on, Gumi. Come on. Ah, uh, assurance. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, um. Ah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go with. Good Ninja. Yeah, and gonna use acrobatics. Yep. Hopefully. Oh, okay. Yep. That was for Gumi. Ah, not a lot, not, not a lot of experience. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, now to heal up again. Oh, there's a lot of healing. Nope. Nope. No, that's the wrong one. Uh, where, where's my? Where, there are my revives. Okay, good. Okay, that's Gumi. Right. Uh, I'm kind of on, kind of low on. Um, full of doors. Uh, I can get some more at the next place, the next town, or city, or wherever we're going. Uh, oh, double battle, nice. Oh, you. If it's a poke, if it's a poke, not Pokemon battle. It, uh, I'm just, I'm just saying again. Oh, you. It's a, if it's a battle you want, we won't refuse. Eep, who are you? Why are you talking to me? Is it a battle you want? A battle? Yes, it's a battle. And we are challenged by Mysterious Sisters Rune and Rhyme. They're sending out Drifflim, Driplim and Floet. Yes, yeah? Yeah, Floet, yeah. Um, okay, so I'm just going to switch Gumi out for Channel Flame. And I'm going to use Meowstic Shadow Ball on Driplim. Okay, the talent flame out. Me has to using Shadow Ball. That's good. Ooh. Uh, and it's in the yellow, at least. Oh, uh, uh. Okay, okay. Me has to tank that. Uh, Grass Terrain, okay. Uh, that's going to power up uh, the Floets. Grass type moves. Oh, yeah, and also it heals up Pokemon's health. Okay. Um. 
Okay, now the shadow ball should do it. Okay, let's flow it. And now time for Drift Blim. And me not me after Kid Talon Flame is now level 46. And the rest of the team is getting XP. And that is Drift Blame. Ah, nice. More XP. Even more. Yay! Oh, actually level 45. Nice. Eep. Hey, that was fun. Oh wait, moving on. Uh, hang on, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Oh, there we go. Oh, the fungus. Right. Uh, hopefully, body slam doesn't do that much damage. And I can, uh, I can catch it. Uh, effect, effect spot. No, no. game, why? Uh, that was useless then. Uh, synthesis, that's... Right, um... Meowstic. Oh, great. Great, great, great. 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 Uh, Giga Drain, uh... Right. Um, Charge Beam. So we need to start catching some more Pokemon, like just just so I can fill out the Pokédex. Oh my special attack rose, nice. I, seriously, what is it with with this fungus and synthesis? You know what? I'm just gonna try and catch it. Uh, Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, there, go. I'm just gonna try and catch it. Uh, come on, come on. Yes, yes. There we go. Got it, first time. Okay, Funko just caught. That was nice. Ah, oh, that's not that much experience. Okay. So, Funko's entry is that it's the mushroom Pokemon. It's a grass and poison type, and its entry says it lets, po it lets Pokemon with this pattern that looks just like a Pokeball, then releases poisonous spores. Uh, nope, I will be not be using. I will not be using Fungus. Uh, now it's time to revive, uh, not revive, um, uh, there's a folio to make Gumi not be asleep and heal up Meowstic with, with a forest door. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, holo clip. I wonder who it is. Oh, it's Lysander. Uh, according to P Professor Sigamore's research, Mega Evolution releases all of her Pokemon's hidden energy at once. The Pokemon that ex then exhibits a level of power it cannot attain through an ordinary evolution. What meaning can we draw from this? Do all people and Pokemon have such potential, or is it hidden within a chosen few? Right. That's not ominous at all. Not what, none whatsoever. Well, uh, what, what, want to see the scary start of the, of the fairy type? I'll show you. Uh, okay. Uh, we're challenged by fairy type, no, fairy tale girl. Mm, uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna pronounce that. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna bother because I am, there's no way I'm gonna try and pronounce that. Um, okay. And then the then the Pokemon that does that looks nothing like a fairy type. It's just a Pikachu clone that somehow for some reason has the fairy type. I don't know why it has a fairy type. I uh no, I thought which uh I was hoping to use Bone Rush. Uh just so for an easy battle, Aromatisse. Ah uh, it's this one, the one that I kind of forgets in the game. I kind of, yeah, it's the, the like one of the few Pokemon I forget that's in a Pokemon game. So yeah. Okay, Burn Rush, go. We did this. Oh, okay, he's doing some damage, I guess. Hopefully, hopefully, he can get some deal, deal five hits. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Oh. 
Uh, Moon Plast. Uh, this one do much damage, right? Ah, uh, did some damage. Uh, another Bone Rush. Another Bone Rush, and then, yeah, there we go. There's a Remy Tease. Now it's time for the delay. Uh, ah, Green Engine level 46. Uh, Dene new. Now time for this battle to be over. Because uh, uh, there we go. I feel like um, Pokemon X and Y should have had a few more fairy types. Because I'm not saying that like the um, the fairy type is a bad thing. I do enjoy the fairy type. Um, oh, give me level 37. Nice. Um, I've, I feel like there were a lot of good fairy types, like Sylveon, Alolan Ninetales, um, several other fairy types, but I just feel like that X and Y, even though it was the, um, it was the first uh, Pokemon game to introduce fairy types, I feel like they should have added, uh, there should have been added more, some added more, uh, uh, fairy types. Let's just, just, just that's what sort I of feel like. I feel like that 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 should have been more um, fairy types added to the game. Yeah, I, I do really like the fairy type. I think it's a quite a, a core new type that really like changes a lot of the game. Even though it does take out dragon types and stuff like that, um, I, I do really, I do really enjoy it, and I really feel, feel like it. That I feel like that X and Y. Should have uh, uh, introduced like some more uh, fairy types, just just like two or three more fairy types at most. Uh, I would have felt like that would be made the game a, like you know a bit more. You know, I would have had uh, like a lot more um, original Pokemon and instead of just adding like three or four. Uh, new fairy types and giving uh, giving um, uh, some some old Pokemon uh, the fairy type and they might not have need, needed the fairy type you know what I mean okay Duogen I forgot which oh that's Duogen okay uh, okay so yeah that's my little ramble on fairy types uh, and this is another Pokemon that I kind of forgot was a thing, the Wojan. Yeah, this, yeah, there, are, yeah, there are some Pokemon in the, in the, yeah, there are some Pokemon uh, that I kind of forget are, are Pokemon, like the Wojan. Uh, I kind of forget that. Uh, Signa Boy, Signa Beam from Yastic. Um, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see what Signa Beam does. Okay, it's a Bug type. Um, the user attacks with a sinister beam of light. This may, may also confuse the target. Uh, okay, how much does this do? Um, you know what? I'm gonna change out, um, charge beam for signal beam just until I get, um, dark pulse. So when I get dark pulse, I'm gonna teach me how to dark pulse. Or unless Dark, uh, Meowstic learns Dark Pulse by level up. Either way, I'm going to wait until I either I probably get Meow, no, not Meowstic, uh, Dark Pulse. Yeah. Oh, a poniard. Um. Hopefully, Dragon Breath. Uh, oh, oh no. Oh. Nah, good. Oh, crit and it's now got the paralysis. Hopefully this ultra ball catches it. One, two, three. Caught it. First time. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, should probably heal. And Ponyard's entry is being added to the Pokedex. Okay, so Ponyard is the sharp blade Pokemon. It's a dark and steel type, and as it, and as entry says, ignoring the their entries, groups attack by by sinking the blades that cover their bodies into their prey. Okay, that's a bit dark. 
Uh, I should probably heal up. Um, oh, I should probably heal up. Oh yeah, I should probably heal up most of my team. Uh, there we go. Yep, I've only got one full stall left. Should use that wisely. Uh, hello? Come on, darling. Uh, bring out your Pokemon. My Survivor and Arbok are itching to play. Right, revealing your hand straight off the bat. Okay. Uh, the Viper. Don't worry, because I have a Pokemon that, Pokemon that can take out both of the Viper and Arbok. Well, I've got three Pokemon, but I want to bring out Meowstic. Because Meowstic's cool. I really, I think, I, and Meowstic's one of, it's probably one of my favourite Generation 6 Pokemon. Uh, Haze, I forgot what Haze does. It does nothing. Okay, uh... Side shock, just side shock. Okay, there we go. Uh, next out is Arbuck. Ah, my team are getting a lot of experience from the battle from the uh, battles in the last few episodes. So I think that's nice. So yeah, oh, intimidate. Okay, ah, uh, no problem. I can just get my attack back up again. Oh, I, and I know that that. Power punch doesn't do any much, doesn't do much damage, but as long as I get my attack back up to where it was, I can now use Psy Shock again, just to win out this battle. I could have won just by using Psy Shock, even if my attack was lowered. Uh, but I, I like to taunt on my, on my enemies. I uh, hate to lose, but I got to admit, you, you you got some strong Pokemon there, kid. Even though you were taken out by one of my Pokemon. Uh, oh, what's in it? It's the trash can. Okay, can I open it? Nope. Oh, what double team. Uh, back to the bone without a care in the world. That's us all right. Uh, rebel against everything. That's us all right. Down with the man, man. Okay. And we're battling Punk Couple Zo Sawyer and uh, as. As uh, I, I, I don't know, I, I could be pronouncing those names wrong. Okay, Panko and Gabriel. Right. Uh, time for. Time for Lucario again. Hopefully, Panko doesn't use any. Uh. Uh, tape moves on. Lucario, hang on. I don't like think saying it costly will because like they'll be targeting Gumi probably before I switched out. Okay, let's got Buddha down quite easily. Got Buddha's the stupid big one anyway. No one likes it. Okay. Crunch. Ooh. Well there we go, didn't do much damage. And a Mega Evolution and uh, Aura Sphere Power Punch. Okay. Ah, never gets old with this Mega Evolution thingy. And now time for Aura Sphere. Go! Ah, there we go. That's Pangoro down and out. Ah, almost level 51. And we have to get level 46. Uh, Gumi level 38. Nice. Two more levels and then Gumi... <gasps> oh, Muddy Water. Okay. Um, I'm going to replace Bide with Muddy Water. Because I feel like uh, Body Slam is a lot, will do a lot more damage than Bide. Sound Flame level 47. Uh, just who are you? Uh, dude, you got the power. Okay. Uh, just two more levels and then we'll have... Uh, Gumi Evolve. Uh, anything here? What's in here? A strange black shadow leaped out in panic. It felt like something left something behind in the trash can. Oh, Max Alexa, that's nice. Oh, now we've got another item for our PP. Uh, hello? Uh, think what think, think what you may of my looks. But at least I'm honest and I'm telling you, you're not cool at all. Just look at yourself. You, you've got to take care of yourself. Okay. Um, dude, kid, what do you think you're wearing? You've got no sense of style. Uh, you're getting 
again about a million years ahead of yourself if you think if if you get if you think you can meet the boss. Hmm. Okay, that might be a thing we can come back to, uh, like after the main game. Uh, okay. Uh, time to run away. Time to do the Joe Star technique of running away. There we go. Hopefully, I can get out without. Um, oh no. Okay, we're encountering more Pokemon. Okay. Ooh, a clef key. Is clef key a fairy type? Because I know clef key is a um, steel type. But I've forgotten if it's either a fairy or a psychic type. That always confuses me if it's one of the two things. Um, torment. Okay. Uh, okay. Power punch. A go. Ah, uh, that did. Ah, uh, that did some damage. Uh, I was a bit. I was expecting more. Foul play. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Signal beam. Let's try signal beam. Oh, they did nothing. Mirror shot. Oh, oh, that's. Oh, oh. Okay, I am switching. I am switching. I am switching out to right you. Yep. Time to switch out. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Mirror shot again. Okay. Hopefully, this can, gonna be a no. Okay. Uh, Electro ball. Hopefully. Hopefully, we'll get in the bed. Okay. Okay. Now we can catch it. There we go. Uh, Ultra ball. Go. One, two, oh, so close, so close, so close. Foul play, okay, hopefully, uh, static will do his job. Yes, okay, 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 that's good, that's good, that's good. That's good, that's good. Now there's more of a chance of catching Klefki. Hopefully, hopefully. One, two, three. Got it, got Klefki. I caught it. Uh, level 46 for Raichu, nice. Uh, that's nice. Oh, look, are you level 51? Yay! Heal pass. Nope. No, I'm not teaching Lucario heal pulse. Uh, there's no way. Okay, Clef Key's entry. Uh, Clef Key is the key link Pokemon, and it's still fairy type, so I was right that it, it is a fairy type. As well as steel type. As entries, it's, it's never likely, it's never let's go of its keys that it likes. So people give it, it, it the keys to vaults and safes as a way to prevent crime. Oh, that's just kind of useful, and then they could just put them into the Pokeballs and then they'll be safe. But what is if the criminal steals the Clef Keys po uh, Pokeball with Clef Keys still in it? Then there will be crime. I don't know. Uh, go away, Fungus. Fungus? Fungus. Uh. Right. Uh. Hopefully I can get to the next town soon. Probably here. Hopefully? Oh yeah, Dentimil Town. This is where I want to be. Uh, why hello, DJ. Oh, Professor Sycamore. How have you been? How's your journey going? You see, when I was younger, I visited many different regions as well. I met many kinds of Pokemon and noticed how each place has its own distinct flavours. So I really came to enjoy trying, in trying, trying to enjoy new foods, f food, foods, foods as I travelled. Because of my adventures, I'm an expert of, on the cafes all over Carlos. Um, Professor, uh, come on, Dex Dexio, I'm going somewhere with this. Do you remember the Pokemon Lysander mentioned it in the cafe? Yes. Wonderful, I knew you would. Carlos' legendary Pokemon is Yvettel, or if you're playing the Golden Wine Xerneas. According to material, I have heard those who saw it were so overwhelmed by its power, they were only able to say that this Pokemon resembled the letter Y, or with Xerneas, the letter X. Apparently, this Pokemon will absorb energy. Its lifespan is said to be 1,000 years. When it reaches the end of its life, it steals all of the spirits around it. 
Whatever did, whenever did you think of a, think of Pokemon that amazing could be now? When Carlos' legendary Pokemon loses all his vitality, it goes into into a sleep in a secret place. I don't have a clue where it could be. The writings that mention it are also around a thousand years old, so they aren't much help. It would be absolutely astounding if you found the DJ. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, foreshadowing. Maybe I'll look into the legend a little bit. If I find something, I'll let you know. Ah ha ha. Oh, it would be a thrill if you found it indeed. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Foreshadowing. But your journey is yours and your Pokemon is alone. I want you to enjoy every, enjoy yourself and whatever you'd like. Um, is that the professor? Is the professor gone already? I was hoping to have him, uh, ha have him ha have a look at my Pokédex in person. Oh well, I can still get my Pokédex ev evaluated at a Pokémon Center's PC. Anyway, I'm heading off to look for Pokémon in the Frost Cavern and fill up more of my Pokédex. Okay, this is this is the town I want to be in because we can now uh, give the heart scales to this guy. Because basically, if you remembered uh, back when we were in the second ta uh, city with the rock type gym leader um, I had to get I got uh, two um, heart scales one from an item that was hidden behind a rock and the other one from a love disc so which are here and in uh, Dentimil town which is the town right here uh, the one we're in right now you can go and find a specific house um, that if you can, you can trade in heart scales and learn new moves uh, or old moves, and you can also delete moves that you might not want anymore. And this is the town that, oh, this is the um, house you want to be in. So it's uh, this house, the one next to the stairs. So if you ever wanted to, um, if you have any heart scales, then I would suggest going to the house and giving it to this guy. Remember, a uh, heart skin. Oh, that's right. I'm the move deleter. Nope, nope. Uh, forget that. It's not this guy. It's this. It's this person. It's this woman. Every everyone calls me Madame Reminder. Uh, I know every every move that Pokemon learn while they're leveling up, and I can make Pokemon remember remember those moves. If you pick me a heart skill, I'll uh, make a Pokemon remember a move. Should Pokemon remember a move? Yes. Uh, which Pokemon should remember a move? Ah. Uh, okay. So, and I want to be using my heart skills on Lucario, like both of them. Like both, like both health scales. Okay, uh, which move should Lucario remember? So, uh, so these are the moves right now that Lucario has. So that's Copycat, uh, Quick Attack, Bone Rush, and Aura Sphere. So those are the moves that uh, Lucario has at the moment. And these are the moves that Lucario uh, has learned. Um, you know, uh, during the game, ever since he was really Olu and stuff like that. And I want to be learning Dragon Pulse. Yep. Yep. And then I will replace it with Quick Attack. Yep. Yep. I want to get rid of Quick Attack. There we go. There's one heart scale. And also, if you've got a Pokemon like um, Lucario or Togekiss, if, if, if you have those kinds of Pokemon, some of their moves um, they, that they can learn can only be learned at level 1. If you've got like a heart scale. So I would suggest get as many, get like, like as many heart scales as you can if you want to like learn uh, some Pokemon specific, uh, specific moves that they can only learn by uh, heart scales. So yeah, I would suggest that. If, you, if you've if, if, if you've got a Pokemon that like Lucario or um, Togekiss. I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna teach Lucario another move, that's being Metal Claw. Uh, yeah. So I think Metal Claw is another move um, that can uh, that can only be learnt uh, if you've got a Heart Scale. So yeah, and that's all the moves I'm going to teach Lucario, and I might also um, 
move around with Carvio's moves a bit. So, okay. So I might put, um, okay, I'm going to put Dragon Pulse, where all his fear was, and I might put, uh, let's see, mm, should I put, no, wait, hold on, uh, I'm going to do like that? No, hold on. Oh, should I put, should I put brush there, or should I? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna see how it uh, how it might feel to me uh, uh, in the long run. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna feel like next time we're in battle, I'm gonna see, look at the um, map or the um, battle screen for Lucario and see how that feels. Uh, hello, welcome, Moon and Milk. It's just five hundred Poké dollars a bottle. Um, I'll I'll I'm fine for now. Right now, I'm just gonna heal. There we go. Heal up. There we go. That's my team healed. Now it's time to buy some full stores and probably some uh, ultra balls. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get twenty-three, and I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna use the rest. Yep, there we go. Okay, uh, 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 something nasty to fit in the frost cavern. It could be true, right? Uh, you there, use the citrus berry here in your Pokemon, wouldn't you? Okay, uh, thanks, I guess. Uh, it, I was given that by a Pokemon, a deadly bird gave it to me, in fact. All to save someone who might be stranded, stranded in the mountains. Okay, um, right. Uh, anything else I can find? Hang on, I wonder, I wonder, uh, I wonder, can I find anything? I'm just going to quickly find something. Because I know, I feel like I can find something in here, in this town, like a hidden item. Any hidden items? Any hidden items? Ooh! 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 Ah, next speed. Right. Uh, that's not very good. That's... In my opinion, uh, I was expecting something more. Uh, anyway, uh, the first cavern is more of a, like a, uh, I don't know, like a, uh, the terrain than a cavern? Is something wrong in the first cavern, Maris Wine? So why, so why? I headed to the first cavern trainer. This mammoth swine here usually can't go, can't get enough of giving way, of giving people away on Route 17. But uh, these days, it seems to be too worried about something in the first cavern to give rides. Mammoth swine is a Pokémon that loves cold climates, so maybe it has sent something amiss in the first cavern. And you are. My name is Trevor. I'm researching the distribution of Pokemon in the Colos region at Professor Sekiro Mall's request. Ah, I see. So that's why you're walking uh, clear out. So that's why you're walking clear out to the Frost Cavern then. Uh, Mamma Swain seems concerned about something over there, so be careful. I will, thank you. What are you going to do, DJ? I'm going to prepare for my expedition. I am going to go as well. I'm going to the Frost Cavern. So here we are, the Frost Cavern, uh, and I think I'm going to end it for that episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.